Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After selecting a type of form to customize, the basic customization window appears on screen. This window displays the most commonly used and basic customization options for forms. You can make any changes to the option shown here and examine how your choice impacts the preview of the form shown at the right side of this window. At the very top of the basic customization window, you will see the name of the new template you have created shown within the selected template section. To change the name of the template, click the adjacent Manage Templates button to open a Manage Templates window. The name of the template should be selected within the Select Template list at the left side of the window. Type the name you want to give to the new template into the Template Name field at the right side of the Manage Templates window and then click the OK button at the bottom of the window to return to the basic customization window. In the Logos and Fonts section, you can check the Use Logo checkbox to add your company logo to the printed version of the form. When you do this, the Select Image dialog box will appear. Use this dialog box to browse for and select the image file to use as your logo. After it has been selected, click the Open button to return to the basic customization window. To choose a form color scheme, make a selection from the Select Color Scheme drop-down menu. Then click the Apply Color Scheme button to apply the selected color scheme to the preview shown to the right. To change the font used to display selected form items, select the form items to change within the Change Font For list, and then click the adjacent Change Font button to open an Example dialog box where you can change the font used to display that form item. After changing the font, click the OK button to return to the basic customization window. Your choices will be displayed in the preview to the right. In the Company and Transaction Information section, check the checkboxes for any company information to add to the printed version of the form. To print a status stamp in the invoice, check the Print Status Stamp checkbox. To add a past due stamp to the invoice if using QuickBooks 2018 or later, check the Print Past Due Stamp checkbox. To update your company information if needed, click the Update Information button to open the Company Information window where you can change any company information. If you do this, then click the OK button when you are finished to return to the Basic Customization window. After completing the Basic Customization, you must then choose what to do next. You could click the Additional Customization button to display the Additional Customization window where you can set more advanced features of the template. Alternatively, you could click the Layout Designer button to open the Layout Designer window where you can change the placement of elements within the printed version of the form. You could also click the OK button to save the template into your template list as is. You could also click the Cancel button if needed to cancel the changes you made as well as the creation of the new template. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.